Athletes. Welcome to another EFL class. Uh, Mr. Johnny, I'm very happy to see you again. Throw the screen. And today we have a special, well, we have two special topics that you probably know them. The first one, but before we get started, today is Monday, May 25th, 2020. All right. So then we have an important warning, which is, did you see the video that I shared with you in the virtual agenda? I suppose everybody saw the video, right? Please write in the chat if you saw the video. Did you see the video? Yes or no? Write in the chat, please. Just, I want to confirm. Okay. So, wonderful. All right. So the suggested video, it was about the differences or the difference between how long and how often. In our EFL book, we found an important topic. And that topic is necessary to know those differences. Okay, I'm going to continue. Next slide. We can, I'm going to separate this, this, uh, this class. Okay, some of you didn't, didn't see the video. Okay, I recommend it to you. If you want to continue with the, or if you want to do the homework, you need, you need to see it, remember. Okay. So here we have how long and how often. They are very similar in some cases, but in this case, no because there is a difference between them, between these two, all right. So let me check it out. Okay, now please copy this in your notebook. How long talks about the length of time for an action. Copy this in your notebook. This is the definition, a small definition. How long talks about the length of time. Okay, hurry up, Oscar, hurry up. So for how long we have to be sure what I'm talking about or what are we talking about? Because for how long we have different uses, but in this case, we are talking about cooking, right? Vocabulary about cooking. So it talks about the length. This is important. The length is the duration of time for an action. And uh, the second or the second definition, this is the number one, this is number two. The second definition, it measures the time when you are cooking. I'm going to give you more examples. Don't worry about it. Copy these definitions, please. It talks about the length of time for an action, or second, it measures the time when you are cooking. Let's see. Tell me, Pamela, what is your question? Write in the chat. What is the question? Okay. Okay, Florence, but you need to wait, remember. Okay. But I recommend it to you. I recommend I recommend you watching the video, remember, Florence. So, here we have two definitions. I'm going to continue with this. Now we have the important thing, which is the structure. Let me check the chat. Okay. 
the page 48 okay no problem if you don't understand that that exercise you can write in on whatsapp okay i will be glad to help you i will be helping you all right so after this probably you will get you will get it or or you will understand it okay so guys this is important please and this is the formula or the structure it's important to say how long does does it is this is a complete expression does it does it take it's a it's complete remember how long number one plus auxiliary and expression that's it plus to boil okay you are you are familiar with this because this is a verb this is a verb and we have the complement as well the potatoes so the complete question says how long does it take to boil the potatoes okay yes daniel you are going to copy please copy in your notebook only this question only the question and then at the bottom of the screen i pointed out some things are uh, i separated well uh, got some of them for example how long is the typical wh question it's a wh question in simple words okay does it does it take is auxiliary about but wait what is auxiliary here remember is this is does this is our auxiliary and the auxiliary is joined by this this the, the expression does it take auxiliary and general expression this is important because we are talking about the length or duration about cooking all right so number three we have the, the verb that is boil to boil verb remember and the potatoes we have the complement okay the structure is very simple but remember how long plus does it take this is the second expression we can say number two the verb number three and the last one number four which is the complement simple as that okay i sup i assume everybody copy this in your notebook okay I'm going to raise these lines to continue again. All right, so I'm going to give you 10 seconds to copy this. Just wait. So now, to continue about this. Let me see the chat okay thank you vale you finished all right so guys next it's live now probably you are asking how to answer if if uh, if a person asks me a question about how long what are the options that i can use for example okay okay no problem danny i will share the, the video okay the class if you have problems with the tablet phone i will share the the presentation okay in the class too let's see how to answer the typical answer that we use or the typical expression that we answer is it takes remember it takes is necessary all the time all the time because you are speaking about the length of time for example imagine johnny how long does it take to prepare the snacks okay good question probably i will say uh it takes 
10 minutes. For me, it takes 10 minutes to prepare the snacks. So that is the expression. It takes, always, you have to use this expression because you are talking about things, about nouns. Yes, you can say it might take, but remember, Dimitri, that expression is kind of advanced, advanced. So in that case, you can use it as well. No problem. Mm, sure. Yes, only copy the expression. One example, it takes 15 minutes, it takes 40 minutes. That's all, that's all. Remember, this is the typical expression. Let me raise this. If you have problems to log in, Abraham, uh, I will be contact you, okay, later. Oscar, copy only two examples. If you want, it takes 15 minutes or it takes 40 minutes. That's all. Don't copy everything. Just copy one of them or two. Okay, we need to move on. We need to continue. Now, more examples. For how long? Okay. I'm sorry, there, there was noise here. So, continue, more examples. How long does it take to bake the cake? Okay, imagine your mother is cooking a cake and she says, ah, it takes 40 minutes. This is the answer the, at the bottom, right? This is the answer. It takes and the time. Remember, this is the question. Look at this, look at this. This is a question mark. So if you are using how long, you don't have to forget the question mark because this is important. In English, it's mandatory. Yes, copy that example, please. Copy that example, this example. I think you not. All right. 15 seconds, I will give you 15 seconds to copy. The question is, how long does it take to bake the cake? It takes 40 minutes. That is the answer. Now, to continue with this, let me see. All right, and we have another slide. Okay, yes, I'm hungry because I'm looking at I'm looking at this uh, meat or stick. Imagine. So my father says, "Hey Johnny, how long does it take to grill the meat?" Okay. So my question is, it takes around ten minutes. You can include this expression. It's important. So you can include it, this expression. It takes around, it's like a, an average. It's an average that you are not sure, but you can use it. Okay, Miguel, you have to eat your, your lunch. Remember, it's late. Now guys, the answer is it takes, simple. It's the same formula or the same structure. Now, I have another example. All right. So, how long does it take to peel, peel the cucumber? The cucumbers is plural. Okay, imagine it takes 13 minutes. Imagine you have to peel 50 cucumbers. Imagine it's a lot of work. So, you say, ah, it takes 30 minutes or it, it takes five minutes, it takes one minute, I don't know how fast you are. But it depends the option, it depends the answer about you. Yes, Danny, tell me. Remember, peel is the action, it's a verb. It's when you are using an instrument. Probably you can use a knife, 
and other things. Now, to continue about this, we have an exercise. Now, I'm going to give you the option or give you the opportunity to speak for some of you. Okay, mm, let's see. Ariana, please, can you please, can you please tell me what is the, uh, the, pro, the, the best answer? For example, this is the question. How long does it take to fry the potatoes or fry the chips? You can speak. I think I gave you, I gave you the option. For Ariana. Okay, Ariana, tell me. It takes 15 minutes. Exactly. Why 15 minutes? Imagine why. Imagine you are frying the, the potatoes one day. No. Probably, no, it's impossible, right? So, yeah. and the taste, when, uh, the, the, the flavor will not be good. Yeah. It, it would taste good, bad. Exactly. Yeah. It takes 15 minutes. Thank you, Ariana. Now, let's see. Daniel. To see the other question. Wait, let's see. Okay. Second question for you, Daniel. How long does it take to make pupusas? Wait, I'm going to give you the option to speak. Let's see. Okay. It takes two two hours. Two hours. Are you sure? Imagine the pupusas, a lot of time. It takes a lot of time to be ready. Hmm. Or five Seven hours. Minutes. Exactly. This is the best answer. Seven yes, minutes. Sir. Yeah. Eh, piense que eh, hemos tenido dificultades para con, con, yo veo aquí la clase en tablet y hemos tenido dificultades para cargarlas y entonces como no venden como han cerrado todas las cosas eh, no, hemos, no hemos podido encontrar cargadores oficiales de Apple entonces puede ser que me vaya de la clase ok no problem thank you no problem thank you for letting me know ok all right so let me see Yes, the, the answer is it takes seven minutes. This is just an example, right? An exercise. An, an exercise. Now, I'm sorry, I skipped one, I think. Uh, no, this is the second part. Okay, now please, I need you to copy this. How often? This is the second part of this presentation. How often? It's another expression. Yeah, probably, Walter, this is just an example. Probably the pupusas, they don't take seven minutes. Probably they take less. For example, four minutes, three minutes. This, is, this was just an example. Thank you. Okay, please copy this. How often it is used to know the frequency of something? Yes, copy, copy this in your notebook. One hour, Dimitri, to make pupusas. Well, it depends how many pupusas are you going to make. Yes, it depends the, the work. So the second option we have here, this is the first one. And well, they are similar, but you, we can say this, this is the second definition or with what frequency. You can say how often he, it's used or it is used to know the frequency of something. In this case, people usually ask questions about, uh, about activities that you do every day or certain verbs, some verbs that you act or you do. The ingredients for what? For the notebook? I think they are not necessary. It depends about the instruction. Let me check it out later and I will tell you. 
No, no, no. They are not necessary to copy. It's enough about just mentioning pupusas, okay? Good observation, Dimitri. Okay. So now to continue about this, we have the second structure. This is similar, but in this case, it changed a little bit. Let me explain to you. All right. How often is the WH question? Here, it's the WH question. And uh, the other one, do is the auxiliary. This is the auxiliary. Or look at this, listen to this. Do, it could be one auxiliary or does. The pronunciation is do and does, okay? They are auxiliaries. They are auxiliaries. Be careful with this. Yes, copy this in your notebook. This is important. Please, copy this. Another thing. You, in this case, is the subject. How often do you eat vegetables? So you is our subject and eat, you know, is the verb and vegetables are the complement. So the question says, how often do you eat vegetables? Okay, how often do you eat vegetables? Imagine I eat vegetables twice a week twice means two times or two i'm going to give you more examples yes dimitri you have to copy this uh, not not all of them it's not necessary to copy all the presentation just the important thing for example the question is important because this is the structure all right So then we have, I have done another slide. So this is the structure. Okay, yes, this you have to copy. By the way, you have to copy this. A structure about what? The auxiliaries. Yes, in the notebook, in the notebook, you have to copy only the things that, I, that I'm telling you. You have to copy only the things that I pointed out, okay? It's not necessary to copy of the presentation. Only the important things. All right, so we have the first auxiliary. As you know, do, we can use it for he, for she, I'm sorry, does. Does, we can use for he, she, and it. And also, yes, Monica, you have to copy this. This is important. Copy the structure about the auxiliaries. Auxiliary number one and auxiliary number two. The first auxiliary is does. When do we have to use does? When? So when you are speaking about he, she, it, or even though it could be a, a person's name or people's name, Stephen. Stephen, remember, Stephen still is he. It's a man, it's a man. Okay, that question, Florence, you can on tip page 38. You have to work on tip page 38 on reading, okay? So the other thing here, it could be Mary. Mary is a woman, is she, remember? 
or sometimes people ask questions. How often does your mother, imagine how often does your mother drink water? And you say, ah, my mother drinks water five times a week. So this is just an example, or it could be your father. And remember, this is important. All these people are singular. They are not plural. They are talking about singular nouns. He, she, it, Stephen, Mary, etc. Right? So the second auxiliary, you have to use do exclusive only for you, we, they, and people. Imagine four people, 15 people, 20 people, 2,000 people, etc. Or you can say my parents, my parents. So parents, they are both, both of them. You can include both of them. And the important thing is they are plural nouns. You have to use do only for plural nouns. All right. Yes, that's community count to a singular in that case, exactly. But if you refer to a, a, a for example, if you refer to people that is in plural, you have to change the auxiliary. Good. Now, we don't have much time, let me see, okay. Now, how to answer? How can I answer with this? Now, in the suggested video that I gave you in your different agendas, you found expressions like this. People use a lot of expressions about this. For example, please copy this once a week. This is, these are typical answers, typical expressions when you are speaking about how often. When you are asking a question about how often, you have to use these expressions. Once a week, once, the pronunciation is once, remember, is once. So once means number one, or I'm sorry, one time. This mean one time. One time a week, for example. But the correct way is once a week. It's not possible. It's not possible to say uh, one at a time, one time. No, it's not, it's not, it's not uh, suitable. The best answer is once a week. Two times a week? Mm, no, it's not possible. The correct way is, is to say twice. Twice means two times as well. And now, from three times and four times, five times, you can use that expression. You can use the, the, normal, the normal numbers. Three, four times, five times, six times, seven times, etc. And the general expression is every day. You know, every day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. Okay, this is, a, this is not complicated. Do we copy? Only the expressions, Dimitri. You have to copy only the expressions. Once a week, etc. Let me erase this. Okay, time flies. Okay. So now, wow, okay. All right. Now, to continue about this, I almost finished. Let me see. These are another expressions. You don't have to copy this, all of this. No, you don't have to copy. This is just an example. Once a day, once a month. For example, you can say once a day, 
or once a month, once a year. You can say twice a week, twice a month, or twice a year, etc. It's up to you. It depends the answer. Or you can say four times a month, four times a week, four times a year, etc. It depends your answer, okay? Now, I'm going, I just want to show you more examples. For example, how often do they cook? Imagine they are chef. And they cook five times. This is the expressions that you are using. What is, uh, what is the, the way that you have to answer? Is this. They is the subject. This is the answer. The verb, the verb is the same. Cook, remember, cook and cook. They cook five times a week. This is the answer. So this is correct. Ah, sorry. The last one was etc. I think the last expression. Okay, so I just want to hurry up because we don't have much time here. Uh, let me see. Yeah. I didn't see that the last one, Oscar, I'm sorry. I'm going to tell you later, later. So another question, how often does she chop the apples? Remember, chop is to cut in small pieces. For example, you are chopping the, the apples in different pieces. So she, she, she chops in this case shops we add a s why because you are talking about third person she is third person remember this is important this is grammar so she is third person she he and it they are third person the answer is she chops the apples once a day this is the important thing once a day because you are you are answering, use or using the expressions about how often. Now, let me see. Okay. So, these are just examples. Now, I want you to see the last one. How often does my mother drink juice? She drinks juice once a day. Once a day is another expression. Okay, before we finish, I just want you to look at this. They are, uh, you don't have to copy all of them. We're going to skip it. Okay, practice. Imagine, how often do we eat fruit? Imagine, we eat fruit, uh, let me see. Let me see, Valeria Lopez, please tell me. Imagine, how often do we eat fruit? You can chat or speak out. What is the answer? What? How often do we eat fruit? Use an expression. We eat fruit, what? Say the complement, the expressions, remember. Once a day, every day, I don't know. Hello? Okay, let me see the chat. Okay, okay, imagine, I, I, I cannot hear Valeria. How often do we eat fruit? We eat fruit once a day, for example. Every day, or it depends up, it depends about you. No, so now, right now, I just want to look at this. How often does your father eat fish? 
Imagine. Walter, imagine. How often does your father eat fish? Tell me, please. Speak or write in the chat. 10 minutes, are you sure? Miguel, uh-uh, that is not the, the possible answer. For example, how often does your father eat fish? Okay. Okay, we don't have much time. My father eat fish, for example, two times a week. Okay, guys, so the time has finished. So please write in the chat if you have questions. Let me see if you have questions. We don't have much time right now. No? Okay, if you have questions, I will be answering you in the chat through WhatsApp, okay? So I'm just going to give you the option to speak. 